Oh yeah, guys. We're just rolling in the dough. We're rich. We got a lot of tractors. We're Mr. Moneybags. Oh yeah. From the comments that I see, people think I'm just rolling in the dough. Truth be told, $90 for the samper. Put a little work into it. Got it going. This thing was $45. Um, the, the Samper Comet was 60 The old Snapper was 30 The MTD I originally bought at Lowe's. I won't tell you what that cost. It, it was brand new. Um, Toro was $45. That Toro wheel mower. And the pressure washer and the snow blower. The snow engine was free. This I bought at Sears years ago. So, we're going to work on the Craftsman right now. I'm going to try and get it running. I have plans to put that metal seat that's on the snapper. You can see it back there. I'll get it with my finger. Oh, oh that white seat. And I'll uh, mount it on the back of this thing. Probably go really fast and slide right off there. The purple paint on there turned out nicely. It's got all sorts of swirls in it. Looks like uh, kind of like Grimace from the McDonald's. I, don't want... I do like it though. So we got a tube and a starter. I'm going to try and put the starter on there and clean it. I got about a, an hour, actually 55 minutes. Um, the neighbor's going to help me um, break this tire off the bead. The back one, he's going to run it over with his truck and I'll have to do the work myself. Because he doesn't want to hurt his hands. <laughs> oh yeah. So let's get to it, guys. Let's get to it. I'm going to wheel this thing out. I'm going to clean out the gas tank. I'm going to cut the gas lines and put a new filter. going to find one of these little filters kicking around the garage. I had on the Samper gas, Comet gas tank I intended to use but never used it. Um, I don't have a battery set up for it. I uh, try to hook a battery to it, the one they gave me, and um, jump it with my jump pack, see if it will run. If not, at least you get something and it runs. I mean, not, I mean, at least you get something and maybe it'll run in a different video. So see, stay tuned, guys. This gas tank here is kind of uh, dirty up. Dirty. I want to clean it. So we got this other Craftsman gas tank here the neighbor gave us with some uh, looks to be good gas line. I was going to run some new gas line um, to this one. But I figure uh, he's just this. So I'll see how this goes. See how this goes. Alright guys, we're back. There's the starter in all its glory. Beautiful starter. It looks weird. Looks like they just made it. It's got stuff hanging out of it there. From it was machine. It's probably China aftermarket starter. Came with this free meal. I'm going to eat that later. Oh, it says do not eat. I'm going to eat that. I might bite the dust, guys. I might bite the dust. Got about a half hour left. We're in the gas tank line. Oh, yeah. The gas line. Oh, yeah, guys. Don't that look nice? Um. Oh, the starter's on there correctly. I never put one on before. I got the bolt on the right, maybe it should be on the left if I got it backwards. I don't know. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. I'm going to try and uh, jump it with my uh, jump pack real quick and see if it turns over. Hi well, guys, having a major problem getting this thing running. It uh, won't engage the starter. And it won't engage the starter on the side of the mower, but it will right there. Hey. It works there, but it won't work if I jump it on the side of the mower or um, if I hit uh, the uh, the jump pack against the battery. So maybe that's telling me there's some sort of a safety switch on here that's stopping me from doing it, guys. About 10 minutes more of this if you don't see anything more. Uh, I guess that's the end of the video. Please comment and subscribe. If you don't see it running in the video, that's the end. Take care, guys. Bye. Alright, guys. We're back. It, I got it hooked up to the battery. The clamps are on the battery. Maybe it's because the connectors are a little rusty. But... No click from the solenoid. No nothing. 
Must have a loose connection somewhere in the solenoid, maybe. Not sure where the solenoid is on this thing. We'll have to look into that. It could be uh, under there or under this uh, battery box. But I was able to, to get it to turn over the engine when I jump it. Excuse me, I'm a little tired, guys. It's hot. I still got mowing to do and cutting grass. But I was able to, to get it the the to turn over the engine by jumping it. I think it's got a bad ground somewhere or something. The starter was bad grounding against the uh, the engine or something. That's why it wouldn't work. But I have to look into the solenoid on this thing. I'm going to take the battery out of the snapper. And um, see if it will start with that. As it may not respond to my jump pack or this battery. As you can see these connections are a lot. A little rusty it was sitting outside right now I'm gonna jump it see if I can get it running put some gas in it so stay tuned guys all right guys all right we're back I can't get it to run I put carb cleaner in the carburetor and gas it could be flooded in the cylinder hole I don't know not sure if it's getting gas or the, the, the fuel filter seems to be filling up I'm not sure what's wrong. It could need a, a valve uh, adjustment. It is an overhead valve. I've never done valves on one of these before. Um, won't we'll start over with the key. Might be a safety switch or something. Uh, any tips you guys can give me what to look for on these would be great. I'm going to go roll it to the garage. I guess I'm done with it for the day. So, uh, see you soon, guys, and please comment and subscribe. Also, this amp meter is all fogged up and uh, blurry. Can't really see it. It's right there. I'm gonna, I have another one in the garage. So, we're off to a good start. Starter doesn't engage, and it finally does, and the engine won't run. So, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Oil looks good. Could use some. Maybe it's got one of those things where it won't run when the oil's too low. I don't know, guys. But I'll let you go. Take care, guys. Bye. Alright, guys. I forgot to add. Gas seems to be leaking out of the bottom of this where that fuel solenoid is. So, I need to do a car rebuild on this or at least a cleaning. Let me know any ideas. I'll let you go. I'm out of shape and I can't breathe and my back hurts. So I'll let you go guys. Bye. Alright guys, bleach here getting tapped by mosquitoes. One uh, last thing, does that fuel solenoid in the bottom of that car need electricity in order for that uh, engine to start? Maybe that's why I couldn't uh, get it running because there's no battery hooked up to it. Let me know what you think on that. Please comment and subscribe. Bye.